Sunningdale is a very traditional school, and I think that's something that I'm really proud of. I wouldn't say we were old-fashioned, I'd say we were traditional. Sunningdale is a family business, it's been in the family since the 60s. I now live here with my wife and two children, we live in the main part of the school, and my sister teaches art here, and it's very much a, a family feel, and, and that's really, really important, because I think the boys feed off that, I think the staff feed off that, and I think it just makes it a really sort of happy, tight-knit place. You know, I just want it to be as good as it can possibly be. It's a strength that we hold on to the, the traditional aspects of the school. I suppose we really focus on three main areas, that they should work really hard, that they should enjoy their games and their free time, and they should be nice to each other. I think if we get that right, then everything works. But what I hope we do is equip them with confidence and prepare them for their future schools. I think hopefully a Sunnydale boy will always be well-mannered. I hope they'll always be considerate to other people um, because I think those two things are actually really important. I'm proud of Sunnydale because of the work they've done, as in we've had our music scholarships to Eton. sports scholarships and how the first 11 did really well in their rugby and their football and their cricket. The reason for them boarding is that all of our boys go on to boarding public schools and so for them to get used to it in a nice cosy environment like this is incredibly beneficial when they go on to their large public schools. We send a lot to Eton and Harrow and Stowe. We send a number to Radley. We send some to Wellington, Winchester. A selection of, of the best schools. We love boys from Sunningdale because they've been well prepared for a school like this. Um, the boys who come to us from, from Sunningdale, they've learnt, if you like, the skills of being part of a community, getting on with other people, how to make good use of their time. So the, the prep school matters a great deal. <laughs> it's less risky um, from everyone's point of view if they've been to a traditional British prep school. Applicants to Harrow are assessed on the basis of two or three different criteria. I mean, we want to ensure that they're reasonably intelligent. That's what the test is about. But we're also very keen to determine whether or not they're going to really enjoy being at a boarding school. And that means they have to be the sort of boy who is going to make good use of you know, his afternoons and weekends. And three. Beautiful. Look at the finish. Finding the, the right public school for the boys is a really important part of my job. And that is after close liaison with the parents and, and, and getting to know the boys. And, and the fact that I do know the boys so well really does help me to give the parents what I hope is the right advice in terms of selecting their public school. Reload. We'll do it again. I think that what boarding gives children is that continuity. They're at school where they can do all these activities without having to be farmed off from one side of London, for example, to the other. They're with all their friends all the time and they make incredibly close friends that last for life. I think boarding school is definitely brilliant because um, you like sleep with them, um, well not exactly sleep with your friends, but you're, it's like having sleep over the whole year round, so it's really fun. I know that lots of people think that boarding is an anachronism uh, and something that belongs in the Victorian era, but it is so different now to how it was then. It is so much cosier, softer, easier. Uh, the parents are here all the time, um, and the boys are, are really happy. Boarding is actually quite scary if you haven't actually been boarding. But once you get used to it, it's completely fine. Sunningdale's a nice school, small, comfortable, but good. Well, the lessons in this school, they're much better, because there's less people. There's only 10 people. 11 in my class. There's 10 to 15, I think. The class size is 12 on average, so um, nice and small. We never go above 15. If you come to a school like Sunningdale, you should get excellent teaching. 
you should get small classes, you should get a lot of individual help and attention, and you should get really good results. I promise you, I really want you to miss. Oh! Sending your child to a, a prep school is a, is a big commitment, both financial and emotional. But everything is on site, everything is safe and secure. It's a pretty idyllic life, really. Sunningdale School is a great school. We've got a lovely, like, places like the library, like you can see, and a, like, really nice rooms. And it's just really nice because you've got big grounds, like, you can play on, you can play tennis, you can play squash. And you've got activities like polo. And then Sunday activities like today we went for carnival and all that kind of stuff. And it's quite fun, really, I think. I think the boys are, are great fun. They, they are so enthusiastic about the things that they do and that, I think, keeps us enthusiastic about it because you just see the reaction on their faces. I, you know, I'm very proud of Sunnydale and, and I just want it to be as good as it can be. You know, I, th I think it is a fun place. I, th I think they have a really good time and, um, and they do do really well. They go on to brilliant schools and, and um, you know, they, they do really well but, but they've got to enjoy it. They've only got one childhood and it would be terrible if they didn't enjoy it. Yeah.